at the reward and keeping the race. Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 Therefore we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily ensnares us, and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. At the time when Jesus was um, being tried and, and when uh, he was beaten by, by uh, the Roman soldiers and he went through uh, all the suffering and shame uh, of the cross, you know, there are a couple of things that we can understand about Jesus. Uh, being in those moments of pain, the focus that Christ Jesus had uh, was the outcome of his sacrifice. We know that Christ came to pay a price for us. Christ fixed his gaze on the reward or the outcome of the sacrifice. Jesus would, would have uh, uh, thought about the freedom that, that man would obtain because of his sacrifice. Jesus uh, would, would have had in his heart uh, the, the love for man uh, and this great passion to deliver him uh, from what the wicked one had done by bringing sin into the earth. So Jesus had the focus of the outcome, what his sacrifice would do uh, for mankind. And not only this, Jesus would also uh, have thought of the fact that once he had completed the assignment, he would uh, go and be with his father in heaven whom he loved so much. So Jesus had set his eye uh, on, on the joy before him, on the things ahead uh, and not focused on the trial, the momentary affliction uh, that he was going through. What do we uh, learn from Jesus' um, attitude? We learn here that uh, as we go through various trials in our lives, we need to look ahead in order to press forward. The sweet taste of victory which is to come, uh, will definitely help us overcome uh, the, the thoughts of pain uh, that we are enduring right now uh, as we go through the trial. So uh, looking at the outcome is critical. Having a vision uh, of tomorrow is important. So let us focus on the outcome and let us keep pressing ahead. Keep running the race. Don't give up. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray today that Lord, each one who um, uh, is watching God, that uh, they will experience God, your strength, Lord Jesus, that you would, uh, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, Lord, give them pictures, Lord, give them uh, visions, oh God, Father, for their life, for their destiny, uh, God, uh, that even though uh, the trials of today uh, might be unsettling, uh, that each of us, oh God, will hold on to the vision which will truly come to pass, God. And Father, that we will run this race looking ahead like Jesus, oh God, that we will look ahead, that we will stay in the race. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for leading us. We honor you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.